Welcome to this walkthrough, in which we'll talk about the new database function of Soundweaver. With this feature, you can pre-scan your SFX libraries, which allows Soundweaver to search for sound files much faster. Here's how it works. Just drag and drop your SFX folder into the indexed paths. You'll find the index path by clicking on Options and then on Paths. Soundweaver will immediately start indexing the sound files. This process can take a while depending on the size of your sound library. Now let's see what effect the indexing has on the search. As we can see, searching for sound files is blazingly faster now compared to previous versions of Soundweaver, especially when using metadata. If we've added a new sound library to our main SFX folder on the hard drive, we simply drag and drop the folder of the library into the index paths to add it to the index. We could also update an index path by right-clicking on it and selecting Update. This will cause a rescan of the whole SFX folder. If you delete sound files or folders from your hard drive, make sure to use the Check for Deleted Sounds function to remove them from the index. Otherwise, Soundweaver will show error messages when trying to load the deleted sounds. The deleted sound files have been detected and removed from the index. As you can see, this process is a lot faster than a complete update. We hope you have a better understanding of the database function in Soundweaver now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.